Hi, it's William here, and I'm, I wanted just to talk to you today about how I've used uh, my Academy blogging to feed the WordPress blog that I run called The Societal Web. So here I am on Academy, and this is, I've clicked here, blogs, and then my blog. This is the last blog that I posted, one earlier today on the 7th of January, called The Societal Web in 2010, Our Predictions for the Next Year. Um, now this blog I wrote, posted on Academy, and without doing any other work, that blog has been transferred and appears here in the societal web as well. So I'm using one site, Academy, to be able to publish my content in many places. So I wanted to tell you how I've gone about doing that. When I started off, I run uh, my blog on WordPress, and this is the WordPress dashboard. If you use WordPress, you'll be familiar with uh, how this looks. And I've installed a plugin, and plugins are little additional programs that allow you um, to um, get extra functionality in uh, WordPress. And uh, other blogging sites have similar things. So if you use Blogger or um, TypePad or one of those other um, popular blogging platforms, have a search in Google for an add-in that will do what we're talking about here. And I use an add-in called Feed WordPress. This is it in my add-ins. It's a simple and flexible RSS syndication tool for WordPress. So I've used some technical terms there. What do they all mean? Well, let's take a look. When you install that uh, plugin, you get an extra um, section in your control panel down here called syndication. And what I can look at if I go to that syndication block is... Uh, I think that takes feeds, and I'm using feeds from a number of people. I don't publish everything um, because I'm a, I have uh, some control over what gets published and what doesn't. But I do take my blog at Academy and feed that. So these are my settings. So first of all, I say for my blog, update automatically. So the things I blog on Academy automatically get published on the societal web. But as you can see here, you can edit manually as well. Um, the last update here is telling me it was a minute ago, so it's gone and checked that I haven't posted anything else on Academy. So that's the scheduling, and you can schedule uh, to check um, a long time between schedules, or uh, you know, currently I'm looking once an hour, but you can look much less or more often than that. Um, now, that's okay, but now I need to look at the posts and links settings page to work out what I'm going to do with those posts. So, first of all, it picks up from Academy that I've um, posted something new. And when you set this up on WordPress, you'll need the RSS feed address for your blog. And if I've gone to, let me go back to the top here, the blogs page, then my blog, which is just showing the stuff that I've published, and right down at the bottom, uh, down here, there's a little link called RSS 2.0. And that produces just the data related to my blog. There, I've clicked it, and Chrome, it looks a complete um, dog's breakfast um, because it's it's not formatted and it hasn't got any text in. But it has all the information to do that. So you'll need that address because you use that to plug in um, to the prompts uh, when you're setting up the syndication for a new author on um, Feed WordPress. Now, here I'm saying hold for review. So when so I post something on Academy, it doesn't immediately post. It's held for review so I can just check and release the posts when I want, but I don't have to rewrite it or do any cut and pasting. And then I've got some automatic settings that allow me to take comments and pings, which are um, links from other websites. So we can save that. Now let's have a look at how do I feed in um, that um, particular feed that I've got for my ISS feed. Now, you can see here, there's a number of bits of information that you can do. And what I'm going to do, these are on defaults for my feed. So let's have a look at um, my feed particularly. And that's the stuff we are looking at before. So you can go through all of these things on the syndication here in order to work out and set up and have a lot of control over um, what you're doing. And to set up a new feed, you just go on this main uh, syndication page look in the source field, copy in um, the URL, the address of the RSS feed, and um, it will then go away and check that it can read that and it's in the right format, press the syndicate button. And that's basically all you need to be able to do. So as a result of that, I now have this content building up 
um, my own personal blog as well as what I do on the Academy at the same time. And the interesting thing with this uh, here, for example, is uh, one of Penny's blogs, which, with her permission, um, I'm syndicating some of the stuff that she does for her um, to expand the visibility that she has too. Um, and just as a quick aside, if other people are writing uh, material about um, social media in particular and uh, activity in uh, social media sites and how that's affecting society and so on and uh, would like to be syndicated as well, then do get in touch. Um, and I'm sure that other people who run blogs themselves would be interested in uh, having uh, data and information and knowledge shared from other authors. Um, and this helps you do that. So I hope this information has been useful. Um, and if you've got any questions, do put them uh, on the blog that uh, goes with this video or as comments on my YouTube channel where I'll post this video shortly. So thanks so much and I'll speak to you soon.